Alright, we're gonna take a bite at the same time. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna dip it. You just pour it on him, I don't wanna dip it. Huh? Fuck out of dip it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't wanna dip it, but fuck it. Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bar. We back once again with another little video. If y'all new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the bell so y'all be notified when we drop some more little bangers. So today I got a special guest. Want to introduce yourself? Malia Precious. Y'all add me on Facebook underscore gorgeous dot mom on Instagram. Add my TikTok p underscore precious. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, right, before we get into the video, don't mind the sweat. Cause we in the sun, and she was so scared to go over there. <laughs> and get out the sun, but yeah. So today, I'm gonna just break time. I gotta break this part off. We're gonna eat all of it, but Just throw it on top of it again. But, um, oh shit. But yeah, Malia, she a part of the uh, Dream Team in uh, Birmingham with Stephanie on the 205. So, you know, we just getting some content in and shit like that. What other type of content you make? Well, I do food videos for the most part. If y'all watch my TikTok, y'all gonna see me do food reviews and stuff like that. I'm trying to get into clothing and hair and stuff like that, but most part, food. So what type of food you be eating and stuff? I be trying to try different restaurants. I know last the last video, I tried the, who was that? Dropout, I think culinary dropout. Food was 10 out of 10. Y'all need to go to Hoover and try that. The summit to be exact. Yeah. You said Sonic? The Summit. Like it's in Hoover, it's like a... Oh, I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like, uh, this is my first time being out here in uh, Birmingham, like, you know, just out and about. So, one of the person from the group chat told us to try out Fat Charles uh, food truck. And I got like the... Um, what type of taco? Mex you ain't got yeah. the Mexican the, pizza. The Mexican pizza? What you got? I ain't got the burrito tacos, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know. Come with a little dip. Oh, what's that? Come with a little dip, y'all. They was three for 15, 315, y'all. Fat Charles. Y'all yeah, gotta go tap in. I ain't gonna lie. Fat Charles, you need to load up them, them, them prices because I ain't gonna lie. I was so confident, y'all, walking up to the food truck and I looked up at the board. I said, damn, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the content. So, we got a little Sprite to drink. Lemonade. And she brought, uh, what you call it? The can of grapes, y'all. Y'all know the gas station on the east side. I think it's something on the west side, though. Oh, it's a number, it ain't no number on here. But it's an address on here. I ain't even know, Sweet Red Creations, y'all. Shot yeah. with them. So like, I ain't gonna lie, where I'm from, I'm from Mississippi, so they don't sell these in gas stations. We gotta like, somebody gotta personally make them, so y'all can tell like the different, what you call like the different environment or different culture out here, I guess you could call it. Different areas, yeah. different areas, you know. So we about to dive in. So this is my first time trying it. So do you wanna, uh, like you wanna try one of these, I'll try one of them, or how you wanna do yeah. eat our own food? Cause I ain't never tried that before. All right, so wait, so. let me put this. I gotta well, take I a swallow of the drink first. Yeah, it's hot out here. My drink already. Oh my. Yeah. The drink first. Yeah, it's hot out here. My drink already. Oh my. Yeah. We need some nap. Uh, okay, y'all. Okay. Oh my. Like, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some nappy. You good? Yeah, I'm straight. Okay. Damn. Like, how much is it? Well, it was You probably because you had that bit in the back. Yeah, Check and it out. It's been sitting right there for me. Y'all, my bad, y'all. This shit funny. Angle, that could be a good part of the video. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh. I'm more mad that it took off half my drink. Yeah, that than is. I am. Oh, I can. I mean, it's some more right there. I go get, like, you can get thirsty. Yeah, yeah, it's had a Man, like, this little park smooth, though. Now I'm gonna be sticky a little bit. But, uh, this is good to say. Oh, 85 degrees today. Yeah, yeah. And the low 72, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Well, you go ahead and grab um, a taco out here, but you gotta dip it in the sauce. You just gotta. I got you. They're like moto oil. Yeah, they be, some people be kind of like, like the moto oil sauce or something like that. Some people be tasting like moto oil. Oh, you get, your, you get your pizza? Oh. Pizza. Ah. Get 
we'll take everybody at the same time. Which one you think I should get? That one or you want that one? I don't know. Look at that ass for that. But the best part is the sauce, like, I, dang, I wish I had another container. Oh. All right, we're going to take a bite at the same time. All right, yeah. I'm going to dip it. You just pour it on him. I don't want to dip it. Huh? Fuck out of dip it. Yeah. Damn, that's why I didn't want to dip it for a second. Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, the motor will be working. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You want to pour it on the nose? No. I ain't got the motor all really kicking. That should be oh, kicking. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is my first. <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I had burrito tacos before, mm -hmm. but that, I, I don't know if it was the wrong place. I feel like that flight is the stuff that they put in here, like the. Uh, what you got, steak? I got chicken. Oh, chicken. They chicken, whoever, whatever they do with their chicken, it's, it's like, it's a good texture. Yeah. And this, I don't know if it's worth $22, but it's good, though. It's good. But I feel like this worth 15 though. Yeah, yeah, 3 15 that's straight. But, I don't know. But when you taste it, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Mmm. <laughs> what you got, got chicken? They ain't asked me. Oh, well, I can take it out. <laughs> but it's good. I don't really like Mexican pizza, but it don't taste nothing like Mexican pizza. It's good. All right, so we will finish the first. Oh, well. <laughs> I suck at doing mukbang by myself because like I'll start eating mm -hmm. instead of talking. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't be knowing what to talk about. Me and my brother, we do him. You should buy him. Yeah, he was asleep. He was asleep. I should have though. Oh here. Which one is? Damn. <laughs> oh, so how do it feel to be a twin? <laughs> He just feel like I got another child. Like, I don't know. I be, he older than me by an hour and 30 minutes out. Oh my goodness, I'm just dropping stuff. That shit crazy, like. He, yeah, hour and 30 minutes, but like, it's fun though, it's not bad. Like, I be the one controlling our birthday and stuff. I be trying to have him match me for my birthday and stuff. <laughs> so really, it, it feel like I'm like, um, I'm not a twin for real for the most part. We just share the same birthday. <coughs> So like, are y'all like identical twins or y'all fraternal twins? Mm -hmm. We fraternal. I ain't gonna lie, I asked you that, but I don't know. I know I, so fraternal me, y'all don't look like? Mm -hmm. Y'all don't look like? He look older than me too. Yeah. So like, do it, do that, ooh shit, this is shit, Lois, wait, we ain't back motherfucker. But like, is that, is that because y'all came out hours ahead of time? No, so like, he way taller than me, he bigger than me. Well, you ain't nothing but like a 108. <laughs> one, no, I'm 125. 125. Yeah, I'll give you that extra point. But I'm gonna try this. Yeah, you need to try taco now. I mean. <laughs> no, it's definitely not worth no damn $22. I think it's really the cheese they use on here like this. Right? Yeah. But I guess it's real fattening though. Like I don't feel like somebody might not eat the whole thing. Like right. we it being so stuffed. But twenty two dollars, still I know. But I know food trucks they gonna always overtax it because like it's on some independent shit I guess. So. Yeah. So like, how is living in Birmingham? Birmingham is Birmingham. <laughs> Everything y'all say about. Folks dating their cousins to, to don't go to Bessemer to, <laughs> to all that, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they be dating cousins out here? Yeah, Alabama be, you know. You know they be making a little jokes about, yeah, like, I know that, you know. But, but they would, I like. That was right. they, they be doing that no, they be doing it. They be doing it. They don't be caring if y'all cousins and that. Birmingham is Birmingham. That's all. <laughs> You over there to your cousin? Yup. Now he's fucking with you. But like now, like, from like when I was going, like, I, I live in Mississippi, so like, you know, Alabama and Mississippi kind of like the same. Mm -hmm. But I feel like y'all are more a little bit country than us. Like, I feel like y'all more like, 
I feel like Alabama having like, what's the word, like, got remodeled or like changed this into like the new world. Like y'all got new stuff around here, but like as in like, you know, y'all have like a lot of shotgun houses in the hood and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got a couple of I ain't like, never been an old my granddad. But like I know Like I, I don't know I guess the part I'm from like bottom South of Mississippi So like We like 30 minutes from Louisiana So like We a small city Picayune It's kind of like um, well, Government I guess you could say But it's a little bit, a little bit better. We don't got, we don't really, it ain't really like the old tradition. Like a lot of stuff newer and stuff like that. We don't got a lot of violence and shit like that. Like, excuse me. I did the same shit. <laughs> but like we could walk like on some real shit. Like we could walk around without a gun. Where we from? Like, like you could actually go to parties and have fun and not worry about guns and shit. Like, I mean, I, I just think it depends on who hosting the party. Like for them to like gotta have guns or something like that or whatever. Cause we got some people promoting people. Uh, I can't even talk. We got some people down here that that's righteous like no violence at their party. Shout out to um crowd control. They don't be playing. Like they don't be playing about their parties and stuff like that. And, like don't. How was your childhood growing up out here? It was straight. It was it was straight. It went like crazy. It went violence. Like like I grew up in Forestdale. Like. Boys there straight. It's quiet. It's it's chill. Like it went bad. I went like running. Well, I did used to play there a lot, y'all. And I used to be running from bullets and stuff. But it's not just on like Birmingham. Not just violence or like like no. You can have fun without like violence and guns and stuff like that. I wouldn't even say I got into a lot of stuff with violence or like been around a lot of violence and stuff like that. I mean like you know, y'all y'all know if y'all know if y'all from Birmingham y'all know if y'all know type shit like. I ain't bashing Birmingham or no shit like that because it's straight. But this ain't nowhere that you want to be your whole life type shit. That's crazy. I was just thinking about, um, I just thought about moving out here because I see like the nice apartments and stuff. But like, I feel like it wouldn't be no place to move to though. Yeah. yeah a lot of people want to move away, but people so used to Birmingham. You know, people just be want to stay where they stay at all their life type, type stuff. Let me stop pushing. So like, <clears throat> Did you go to um, so how was high school like when you got in high school and stuff like that? When I got out of high school? No, when you was in high school. But well, my high school was good, chill. Mine, I went to mine high school, y'all. Y'all already know my high school was lame. I hate mine, y'all. How many people y'all had graduated in y'all class? What you mean, like I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I think everybody graduated for the most part. It was like a big high school, like the number. How many kids? How many people y'all had in y'all graduating class? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, everybody graduated though. We were having like, I don't know, they want to make it seem like nobody graduating out of Birmingham or something like that. Like, we be one thing we're gonna do is graduate. I don't know what they gonna do after that, but they gonna graduate high school at least. Type shit. So, did y'all, so you don't know if you had like 100 kids in your class? No, nah, we had more than 100. But 200? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't really fooled my class like that neither. So, I feel like you were the type that like you act you hung out with older people than that was actually your class. Mm, not in not my my freshman year. Like all the seniors, like they was my friends. My tenth grade year, the seniors, like they was cool and stuff like that. And I had a lot of cousins and like a year older than me. So yeah. when year you graduated? Twenty twenty. Yeah, you a kid? What the fuck? Well, yeah, you had graduated. 2018. Oh, so what school you went to? How, how, how your high school was? I ain't gonna lie. I went to Picayune Memorial High School. It's kind of fun weird saying that, but uh, it was great. Like, like it was like a typical high school. We were like diverse. So we had like white, black, Mexican. But it was like it was more it was more black and white people than than anybody. Mm -hmm. But um, it was cool. Like. We had like, you know, we had all the sports, but we were more like a football team. But like our school, and it's crazy because like our school going through some some stupid shit right now. Mm -hmm. But like our school is like, all right, so like I, we had like the school where like our teachers be fucking each other. Like, <laughs> they be what? Like, they be fucking each other. Like, like for example, like the teacher. We'll be married, like it'd be two teachers that work there, they'd be married, or they'd be sneaking around doing shit. Yeah. And like the principal might be fucking around with somebody else. 
it's like everybody, or they might be like some, like the tennis about the daughter might work there, or son, like, it's like a big old circle of everybody like, know each other, so it's like, it's like a big old, it's like a big old family, and it's really, a high school really fucked up though, like, cause everybody know each other, so like, with like certain shit, like when you get like trying to get like a coaching job, you trying to get like a teaching job, like you'll be limited because they gonna put their people on before they put you on. Yeah. And like, that's what we going, that's what our school going through right now. Cause like they had a big old, um, they had a big old thing where like, you know how to do senior pranks or whatever. And um, the school, the, the, the kids came, got in, and they destroyed the school or whatever. But they don't want to give the people their diplomas because they just they damaged the school. So they're trying to make some of the students pay, pay the um before they get their diploma. But the crazy thing, you know how like I said, at our school, you got like white people that got a name. So some of them, they didn't have to pay. They didn't go. They didn't. And a lot of people got arrested. But the people that parents had a name, they didn't get arrested. So when they got their diploma, they fighting back because of that. So our school really got the big uproar. But for the most part, I, my high school it was pretty cool or whatever. Um, yeah, like I ain't say, I don't know. I was, I was really shy until like my 12th grade year though. I stayed to myself. I ain't go to parties, yeah. none of that shit. We ain't really have too many parties. Well, I kind of hung out with the white people when I was in uh, high school though. And when I got into YouTube, that's when my other friend got into like rapping and shit, and that's how I say we kind of diverse toward hang with more black people and stuff like that. But I feel like they were lame on some shit in a way. But it was, I feel like looking back at other stuff, I feel like it was pretty safe, you know, shit like that. I got a question. Um, what they did to the school though? Cause you know, like. Like they had got like the fire extinguishers, went through the school, spraying it everywhere. You know, like the fire students would make foam. Yeah. And like they went, you know, I don't know if y'all have them, but y'all know that how they got them with projectors and shit. Yeah. They broke the projectors and oh, shit. Oh, okay. They broke some sinks and shit. Okay, no. And like ripped posters off the board. But it was like, but like when they do the senior prank, it's a teacher that they have a they have a teacher that leave the door open or a window open just for them to get in to do that. But I don't. But they said that everybody was doing it. It was like underclassmen and stuff, so like it wasn't the seniors and stuff. Oh. oh. But they arrested a lot of people that did it too. That was 18. But some of the other people, like they said, a baseball team or whatever, they didn't they didn't get arrested. It was it's a long story. Yeah. Oh, cause I was gonna say like I know seniors be doing pranks and stuff like that, but yeah, like. I think they had just like two tissues. I don't know what I seen your prank. Actually, yeah, like they they did go overboard yeah. or whatever. But you know, that's why I never the phone. Yeah. <laughs> good. It went down. <laughs> Have your hand up on your hand. Please. Yo, no, I'm drinking this drinking. They threw me off because they started looking at me like. Yo, he threw me out. I'm like, why the hell? But then that man right there, you just turned around like. <laughs> that shit was crazy, cause I heard you. <laughs> that was funny. But, <clears throat> usually people don't do that much, like, destroying the school and stuff like that. It was outrageous, but everybody be having their little senior pranks and stuff. They should just be doing too much. I feel like they did do too much, but I feel like it shouldn't go to the extent of having them arrested. Yeah. Maybe so, like putting in some money or something. Like, you know, if you know you did the damage in school, just put in some money for like any certain amount of XYZ money, da 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 do, or somebody donate some saints or some projectors. But see, like, the thing about it, that's the thing. Like, they trying to get them to pay, but they're not showing the people the evidence that they kids did it and stuff. So that's like if you had a kid. Um, just say, I had a kid that I, I was white or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. but I had a name, my son was there too, your son told me, told you that I, my son was there, but I got a name, they're not, they're not telling, you know, they're not punishing me, but they're punishing your son, but they want you to pay, but I did, my son did it too, you gonna feel some type yeah. of way. So. You just want another piece of the soccer? No. So which one you like the best? This one? Oh. You know her? You know her over there? Yeah. Right there, in the back door. No. So she was looking hard over there. They probably 
hard because we got a camel right here though. Because a lot of people is low-key looking hard as hell. Y'all need my y'all damn business. I ain't gonna cap. They're like y'all never seen a motherfucking camera. Well, now they probably have them. Well, well, like us before just at the park like this. Yeah. I guess. You want another piece of this? Mm-hmm. I just know I'm gonna be, I'm probably, I might even run more pieces. I just know I'm gonna be full of hair. Yeah, you gonna be ready to go to sleep. So I like, know. we still gotta eat that. Yeah, no so, way. So I ain't gonna lie. Um, I, I was following you on Instagram. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was searching through your, so like, and I, I kind of put together how you were saying that like, you used to do a lot of stuff, so like, so you was in the streets for real before, and you changed your life? Hell no! No, I went in the streets! <laughs> no, I went in the streets. I was partying. That's been in the street. Oh, like outside? Yeah. I'm not even mean like, bro, oh, this is... <laughs> nah. I'm like, no, I was never in the street. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I used to party a lot. That was like two years ago, y'all. Y'all know back in the day. Or maybe you switch up. Oh, it just got old real fast. Like a lot of stuff, and it was the same thing. Like somebody getting fight at the party, somebody getting shooting at the party, you running, whatever with the woo, everybody getting drunk. I ain't want to be no alcoholic, you know. When you out, you gonna drink stuff like that. Dudes might buy you a shot. You might buy your own stuff some shots. You drunk, and I ain't, yeah, whatever. I got tired of alcohol too, y'all. I can't drink white no more. I only drink brown. I cannot drink white. I can't even smell white. I don't fuck with white at all. Like, every time I drink white, bro, I, it be a bad turnout. Like, all, all my people from back home, y'all probably know this. So, like, we uh, had like a little party at our, uh, our city or whatever for, I forgot, I think it was his birthday party. It was like a, it was like a Jersey party, I think. But uh, I had fucked around and mixed like white and brown. Then like uh, my girl, she like she uh, her sister owned like a food truck or whatever, and she made uh, mixed drinks and shit. And like she, well, she, she not the type to hold back on liquor. She gonna get you what you pay for. Yeah. So I drunk that shit, bro, and I fucked around and passed out. Like, tweet, I passed on the back of my truck, and my friend had to pick me up and put me in the car. Like, if I got the video, I'm posting in this video. I'm gonna show you afterwards, but, but yeah, like, it was crazy. <clears throat> but I be getting my feelings on when I drink white, so I try to stay away from that. When I drink white, I be on a fight. And a lot of people say that, but it be true. They be like, true. Hold on. You still recording? Yeah. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to start it back. So, yeah. So, we back. We finna try these grapes. Yeah, this was $10. But usually everybody do. How much they be charging for grapes? I don't know. I think like, I don't know. I went for like 10, 15 maybe. Well, I ain't gonna lie, this, this is a good amount for 10 because I know a lot of folks be having like 10 in there or 8 in there. And y'all know a bag of grapes be costing like $3. So y'all be getting hella profit. Okay. I guess they be asking for like the candy and shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna taste one. Oh, snap. I guess it's blue raspberry. I don't know. I see, like the one we be getting be kind of cold. It be hard. Yeah, these, oh, like, like candy apples. Oh, I like these. Uh, it was cold, y'all. Yeah, I fuck with you. It been hard. It good. I don't really like um the hard ones because they get stuck in like jolly wrenches oh, yeah. and stuff. They get stuck in your tooth. I don't like that. So like, what you looking for a guy? Cool, chill. Out the way. That's about it. Like, cool and chill. How many relationships have you been in in your whole life? <laughs> like three. Yeah, I'm gonna say three. What about you? I ain't gonna lie. I done talked to people, but I only been in like one real relationship in my whole time. Like, like somebody that I brought home and shit. Hey, I ain't even talked to that many people. I probably like taste a couple of folks. But, like, Mm, they don't be serious. Like, if I ain't never seen you in person, we don't, we never talk. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just throw that out there, because I had, they little say that somebody talked to Malia Precious, and no, oh, y'all do. I don't even know y'all. 
So you feel like you be getting niggas and shit? I can. If I'm, I can. I can. But y'all, if y'all know me. Y'all know I used to talk to girls, so. Are you, are you like girls? Yeah. So. Like, like date date? Yeah. So were you the girl or you? It's just different all the way around, y'all. If y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> what that mean? Inform me. I'm just saying. So you, so you. I was what? So you was stuck? No, I wasn't stuck. I was a little tomboy a little bit. Depends on the rest of type shit. Type stuff. Type oh, shit. So, yeah. So what made you uh, come back to this side? I was that big, yeah. I've been dating girls for so long. Since I was like 14. Played out old. Look okay, at big ass dog. Who up make this? They must be smoking. This is like I just ate a chunk of weed. What? One of the guys said they must have they must be smoking. It's like I just ate a chunk of weed. <laughs> Which one you like more, the red or the blue? The red. Oh. I don't love blue. My favorite color is blue anyway. Yeah. But oh, they catering and stuff out here. Mm. But if y'all thinking about turning to girls, don't do not. If y'all want to fight every day, date a girl. <laughs> if y'all want to fight, if y'all don't know how to fight, don't date a girl. Cause y'all gonna fight. So like, that's the intro, y'all. I didn't even know that. But like, you know how I was telling you, I had, I was like kind of stopping on Instagram. Like, I ain't gonna say it like that, but, but I. But you was scrolling, looking yeah. at it. But I can see the change. That's why I kind of asked you, did you in the streets when you out? Cause like, I feel like you was more like, oh, so like you kind of like, now you kind of like, like and then you kind of got, you know. Chill. Yeah. I'm chiller now, everybody. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know I used to be out there dancing on top of something. I still be dancing on top of something sometimes. That mean? Like on top of like. Cars and shit? Yeah. But I don't do that too much though. But I'm gonna go out here and there. I don't go out every weekend no more like I used to. <laughs> but then back then I was working like 12 hours shifts like Monday through Friday. So like weekends I was kind of like, I need to do something. Like, and I was just going out. That's why I was going out as much. But now I can go out doing the weekdays. Like my schedule, I only work like seven, eight hours. Straight? Yeah. I'll be on purpose. Type of shit. So you got any questions for me? I feel like I've been asking you no. a lot of questions. I feel like I've been like interviewing your ass. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> Honestly, I just know y'all my hospital. I'm the day girl. I, I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you read in the group chat. Somebody had said who like girls in the group chat or something like that. Oh yeah. But I had made a little paragraph saying I do not talk to girls no more. You a girl trying to talk to me. No, I talk to boys. That was so come back to this side. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, and then wait a minute, I'm gonna ask you a question again about you had said, uh, I'm gonna ask you a question again about you saying like, do I get niggas and stuff like that? I don't feel like everybody know I talk to boys now, so I feel like if I was like out loud, like, yeah, I don't talk to girls no more, then I would get more niggas or whatever, but so like, I could if I wanted so to. So like you really was strictly just like- Yeah, talking. for years. See the tattoo, see, hold on, all the tattoo. Yeah, you most definitely wasn't doing that. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, like. Yeah. But I don't know. But that's a good transition. Like, I can't tell, because most times, you know, people come off kind of like tomboy. Yeah, but a lot of people be getting that from me. They be saying they get that from me, like, you must just talk to girls, or you just act like a nigga a little bit. You just, I don't know, like you girly, but, and you be wearing wigs and stuff like that, but you give me like, age. I don't, be, I don't know what they be meaning by that, because I don't be thinking I be getting like, out. Like hey. niggas say that? Huh? Niggas no, say girls. That? Oh. How about I say niggas, like we could pick up on that, but I ain't gonna pick up on it. I didn't, I guess cause I ain't really talked to you enough, <laughs> but how about I say I ain't really pick up on that? Yeah. Yeah. But in who you, about you, so what you look for in a, a, a lady? Like, um, somebody that like gonna support what I, somebody that gonna support what I do, and somebody that's gonna go get it like on their own, and you know, that I don't really want 
rely on a nigga like yeah i feel like a nigga like as men like we're gonna already want to help and give to, to our female and provide for our female but like just to have a female around that's really willing to go do it on their own because you never know like i could some shit might happen to me i might can't work no more and it's like i'm gonna still want you to you know have somebody that i can depend on or it's just life might happen i might lose my job or whatever you know it'd be nice to have somebody like that and really somebody that like i could uh talk to and come to whenever i need uh I, I'm, I'm like I'm a cancer, so I feel like I'm gonna keep it the balance. I'm a, I'm a June cancer at the end of the year. I mean at the end of the month. So like <clears throat> I feel like we are emotional. So some shit that, like I, I'm the type of person I like to talk. So like Alpha Grind and Alpha Grind and Vent, and uh, just sit there and talk all the time and shit. So I just sit there and vent, and I just need somebody that's not gonna judge me and shit. I think they just met up on the day. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I, I don't. I feel like it gonna be. I'm gonna go too much in detail, but do you feel like that was enough? Like. Yeah. You got some more questions. So you got kids? Yeah, I got two kids. I got a boy and a girl. How are your girl is? She's seven months. Uh, Did y'all look alike? Yeah. Your girl and your boy, both of them look like look like. And my son look just like my daughter just starting to look like me. But my son, look, like, we look like twins. Oh. I can show you the video real quick. Yeah, I'm going to have some kids in like some years from now. I keep on pushing it back. It was 26, but it's looking very 30-ish now. Not going to lie. <laughs> so how long you and your baby mama knew each other, known each other? No! <laughs> Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I've been knowing of her since, like, high school, yeah. Tom, and, like, before, but I didn't know who she was, like, I ain't gonna cop, like, I ain't really know who she was until, like, my senior, no, not even my senior year, like, I used to see her at school, but I ain't know until, like, my first year of college, like, and it was crazy to, like, she shot at, like, she shot at me, like, I swiped up on my Snapchat story. Oh. oh. I thought you meant like shoot. Oh, oh no. What? She did what? No, nah, hell no. Nah. But nah, she, uh, she had hit swiped up on my Snapchat story. Also. Remember like they used to have like a little thing where you could like, you could have like sending me a message or whatever. And she was like, would you talk to me type shit. And yeah. I had posted like, who is this? And she swiped Oh, up. like the anonymous, anonymous yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is a little way to be sliding somebody inbox doing it. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I used to see her before and it was just, I never would have thought that, like, I would have had kids with her. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, you want more kids? Like, honestly, no. Because I feel like, like I, I, I believe in manifestation and I feel like, uh, I mean, I want, I always wanted a boy and a girl. I feel like I got what I want. I feel like the only way I get like that, get another kid if I got with somebody that didn't have kids. Yeah, because then they be want to have their own kids. Yeah, so like, other than that, I don't think I would. I don't, I think I want like three kids. Oh, I think I want like three kids. Like three or like five. I don't know who's going to push them out though, but... But I do want to adopt. I think I want to adopt. I always said I want to adopt, like... I don't know, one child out of the five kids. But I had to be together with life, and I had to love my baby daddy for some five kids. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be having kids, but I mean, you supposed they don't be with them. They don't be knowing who they is, and then, like, you know, like, they just doing what to do, then they end up being pregnant, they don't want to get on abortion or like that, and I feel y'all on that. But don't be having no kid by nobody who don't want to have no kid, and then y'all be complaining about stuff. Worry about why he not around because he didn't want to have a kid with you. Like, y'all, you start thinking and stop doing what to do with everybody and their mama. Having all these kids. Type shit. But I feel like, on a dude perspective, I be feeling, I don't know, I really don't see how, like, I don't know. I I don't see how dudes could, like, have kids and not want to be in their life, though. 
I don't know. That is me. Well, I guess it's, it'd, be, it'd be more off the baby mama. They don't want to, like, well, not even that because, like, you ain't got to fold the baby mama. You just got to, you know, fold the kid. Yeah. But, like, that is some more questions. I feel like if I don't, I'm going to ask you questions. Let me see. Um. Oh, what college you went to? Cause you said you went to college. Did you yeah. graduate? Yeah, I went to two two colleges. I went to uh, they were they were JUCO colleges. You had a, uh, have you heard of uh, Jones Community College in Mississippi? It's in Ellisville. I don't know none about Mississippi. I went to Jones and I went to Pearl River. Oh. PRCC. What you went for? I went to Jones. Like Jones really was like on some bullshit because like you know you gotta sign up for. It. You gotta put something down just to get a just to get accepted to college, and I had never changed it, so it was like on some like construction shit. Oh. And I ended up uh, going to Pearl River for uh, for filming and stuff. Oh. You went to college? Yeah, but then I had genius. I ain't finished though. I'm gonna go back. I'm thinking about going back in August. I'm debating on it, but I'm trying to see if I want to change my major to nursing. But yeah. or um. Medical assistant, depending on something like that. I don't know, but I, I need to go back though. I'm debating on it. Type shit. What, uh, what I'm about to say? Yeah, I was thinking about going back. To, well, I'm, I ain't gonna say thinking. I already applied. Going back for uh, cyber security and shit. Oh. Uh -huh. But I don't know if I'm really gonna go through with it though. Yeah, it be, it be hard trying to figure out what you want to do with your whole life. But you can do everything you want to do, like, everybody can do everything they want to do. But I know school and stuff like that, folks be thinking it's taking forever to go to school. And they be like, four years of your life, but four years go by yeah, yeah, fast. Yeah. Four years to went by too fast, so. I can't believe I've been out of high school six years already, but. Yeah, I've been out four years, and four years went by so fast, like, it's like, what a time went by. What that shit is fucking crazy. Yeah. I seen so many people graduate last the other day. That was, but I remember they were little kids. But I got, so that shit don't hurt having long ass nails like that? Uh -uh. Oh, well, y'all look on there. But no, my nails always, they grow longer than these. I don't wear fake nails. I, I hate, like, I can't do stuff with my real nails. Like, if they was this long, I can still type on my phone and do stuff with them. But if they was some acrylic nails, I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing with acrylic nails, yeah. Like, I don't even wear them. I convinced myself that um, if I wear nail polish, it's gonna break off my nails, so I don't even wear nail polish. So they don't, they don't make you, like, want to bite them because it be so long? No, I don't bite my nails. You bite your nails? Why? Cause I I I'll be trying to keep it, and I you see I clean it, but it get a lot of dirt under it. Then I I be like fuck that. Yeah, my feet getting dirty too, but not too bad. Cause I don't work. Well, I don't work in the warehouse no more. So like I work with kids and stuff like that. My nails shouldn't be this long working with kids, but I don't be scratching them nothing like that. Like I didn't have. I say like I know the motherfucker be scratching the fuck out the motherfucker. Them the kids be scratching me, and they nails don't even be long. Like they be scratching me. But working in the daycare, your nails don't supposed to be like this long or whatever. But I love long, I love long nails. Like, my nails like this, I be so mad, like, no. No, and I don't wear no polish, no gel. I just wear polish on my toes. That's it. So if you want long nails, don't wear no polish. I guess. You got any more questions? Um. That's like I done asked you a lot of shit. Yeah, you did. I've been talking. I just been talking, but I love to talk, y'all. Yeah. To know me. Y'all like talking too. Oh, what you say, your Zodiac sign was? Cancer. Oh. What did you? What the fuck you mean? Oh. I'm scuffing up. <laughs> no, you did say cancer. Like I was, you already said what you was, but I was just trying to. So you, you think? So you, so you born in November? Yeah, November 19th. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think you act like a cancer? What you? What you? Mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to just think of like how. I'm trying to really think how y'all are. Scorpios, every, everything they say, it, it be true sometimes. Like they crazy, they be acting crazy, they crazy, but they chill though. Like they chill people. A lot of them mean though. Like they be having nasty ass. So I be knowing Scorpio. I feel like all the people that I had, not had, but like all my friends. But my bad, I didn't cut you off. My bad. You know? No, I was done talking. Oh. But like the people that I know, like I got a friend, like she is, she is Scorpio. Yeah, uh, my girl, she is Scorpio too. So like that shit, all play together. Like 
That shit funny. I, so I already know what type of person you are. <laughs> Scorpio for though. But either you they got fight. On your arm, you do. No. <laughs> All Scorpios got Scorpio static only because it's a five. Like it's a five zodiac sign. Like what Libra got like a scale or something like whoever got the scale, that's kinda ugly. Like Leo like Leos and Scorpios, they mainly be having their set on them because like they gonna get a tiger, a tiger five, a scorpion five. Like a lot of people be having like ugly, like they zodiac sign be kinda ugly. So they don't be getting teddy. But Scorpios always get their second right? Like, it's a Scorpio in the group chat too. She got her status too. My twin brother, he got his status too. Like Scorpios, they had it so teddy. Even if you like believe in all this, like acting like it, even if you don't, like. You believe in it? I was at first, but not, not no more. Like, everybody act like. They still, like you You can put Scorpios in the category like being mean and stuff like that, but everybody be mean though. But Scorpios got some type of mean stuff about them. I don't know, they like rude and mean, like a lot of them. But I don't base it off like relationship stuff or nothing like that. Cause I think people be putting too much in it. Yeah, they be like looking it up and stuff and just be like, oh my boyfriend not compatible to me, I'm finna break up with. Like don't base it off your life. Like you can just be like, oh you act like a Scorpio sometimes. Don't base it, don't get too big headed about the, the Astrology and all the zodiacs and all that other stuff, like no. type shit. But like, I don't think cancer is even compatible with y'all. It might be. I don't know. I don't like, know who compatible with it. Hell, but, damn, nobody. What well, y'all be asking? Um, Ask him some more questions. Um, let's see. What's what's your what's your baby mom's zodiac sign? Oh, how you gonna say that? That's what I'm saying. It's oh, like you? Like. Yeah. Ooh, what's her birthday? Uh, November 5th. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm going to the end. I don't know who. Wait, you said a counselor? What you said you was a counselor? I had a friend that was a counselor. No, they're not good friends to each other. Well, girls. Why you feel that way? My friend was just, something was really wrong with her and her head. And she was just like obsessed. She was kind of obsessed with me. She was crazy. She keyed my car. She tried to fight me at my job. She wanted to fuck you. Yeah. She wanted to be in one. Yeah, that girl was crazy. Then she tried to apologize and be friends again. No. Like, I feel like I'm a great friend. I feel like I'm a too good. What, 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 uh, when she, she was part of July Cancer, huh? What? The friend. She was what? A July Cancer? I don't know when her birthday was, but she was a cancer. She was always sad. But she was a great friend. It's just her being, like, obsessed. Like. How long? You gonna be a long guy to be, I'm so but it was the obsessed part. She, I told her that I did not want, she used to make jokes and be like, I'm gonna be with you, we gonna be together. And I used to be like, no, we not. I don't look at you like that. And everybody used to tell me like, y'all gonna be together, y'all gonna be, I never liked her, like, no. That's why she was crazy about you. She liked, she wasn't a bad friend, she didn't like you. Yeah, she was, a, she was a great friend. I ain't gonna lie, she used to look at all y'all. We used to always do these, like, we used to always do stuff together, like, that's my best friend. But. Why you wanna know, why you give her a chance? Again? That's about like dating. Dating. No, she was like weird, you know. Dating aspect. She was a good friend, but like if you dated her, you would've been like, what the fuck? Like, she used to like stare at me. We used to work together too, yeah. She used to like stare at me, like, like around the corner and stuff, like peeping at me and watch me work. I didn't even want to work no more, I want to leave. Cause she liked you, bro. No, it was just weird. And she was my manager, so. Yeah, she wanted. Like, yeah, you know. Oh, they they bring all the little um, food trucks out here, y'all. Yeah. I don't know what they have, man. I feel like we can end the video. Uh, yeah. The bubble ain't. We can start on your video, then we can do another one too. So I feel like we're gonna talk y'all head off. Yeah. So we're gonna end the video right here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all go subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to her on TikTok or follow her on TikTok. Follow her on Instagram. And you gonna put your Facebook out there too? Yeah. All that stuff gonna be in the description below. And uh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna promise you gonna be in the video, but I know I'll put it in the description below. So y'all stay tuned. Hit the like, comment, subscribe. And we out. Game.